Welcome to a day in my life as a data scientist at a consultant company and today I'm working remotely from home like I do 90% of the time and this morning on a Tuesday I woke up kind of late because I stayed up a bit too long the day before. So first of all I make coffee and then because I got up late I go straight to work. Look, I didn't promise that I would teach you healthy habits here. <laughs> So I start with checking the state of my task to prepare for my daily meeting with the senior colleague on my team. And this week is the last week of the current client project. And in this project, we are working for a business who wants a generalized reporting dashboard for their customers to overview how their business is doing. And my main task this week is completing the database that will serve as a basis for the reporting. And before the meeting, I'm making sure that I know what already works and what still needs work. So if my supervisor asks, I'm not like totally clueless. <laughs> and then I'm into our morning check-in meeting that we have every morning. We're a small team, like very small. Previously, we were three people, but one developer already went on to the next project. So now it's only me and my supervisor. And we mainly talk about which task I should prioritize on the given day in these meetings. And because one meeting clearly isn't enough, we combined it with another meeting where a data warehouse expert from our company joined us and kindly explained some more things that we need to add to our model to make it a real data warehouse and to fulfill all the requirements. So I wrote down even more to-dos on my list that I need to complete until the end of the week. <laughs> And then that wrapped up all of my planned meetings for the day. So I decided to properly start my day now and go and shower. All right, so I showered and put on a bit of makeup and also had a meal, which definitely helped in feeling human. In general, I'm definitely not a morning person. So it's kind of nice that I can just do, like I do have to do a quick meeting in the morning, but otherwise I can do a few tasks in the morning and then sort of regroup if I'm in home office. And like now I just took a shower and stuff at like lunchtime. And now in the afternoon, I can really get some work done. So yeah, I moved my laptop to my desk and now I will tackle the task that I discussed with my supervisor this morning. I need to fix something in the database tables that we created because there was a slight mistake and then add a new feature to that and also create some diagrams describing the database. So a lot of like backend database tasks today, even though I am technically a data scientist. But like I said earlier, the current client project team is super small, so we have to do a bit of other tasks that would not normally fall into my task spectrum, so to say. Also, got myself an energy drink. Monster should really sponsor me at this point. I'm constantly showing their drinks on like my Instagram or in this videos. <laughs> and yeah, but I don't think it will happen. Maybe one day, maybe one day. In the meantime, I can just enjoy my drink. Like any other normal person. Let's get to work. All right, so check in at about 5 p.m. now. It's not going well. I think I'm still tired from going to the gym yesterday. And also the database is just kicking my butt. Um, there are some differences in between our previous analysis and the database like it is now and running queries on that now. And I found out the reason for some of the differences, but not some of the other differences. And it's just very, annoying and I don't know what exactly to do yet. 
And also every time I run the database, it takes like 10 minutes for it to like repopulate everything with the new adjusted data. And in that time frame, I always like lose my focus because I can't run the queries again. So I always distract myself in those 10 minutes, which is not, not good. <laughs> My supervisor just called and asked like how it's going and I regrettably had to inform him that it's not going too well. But he didn't rip my head off, as you can see. Uh, would have been hard during the phone, uh, over the phone, so that's good. Another advantage of home office, no, I don't think uh, anyone would rip my head off in the office either. But yeah, he just wrote me something, one second. Okay, so he asked me about the exact numbers again and I wrote him an update. So yeah, because we have this delta, we're just gonna focus on something else because we still need to do some other tasks and create some new tables and a bit of logic. And I will do that because that will either work or it doesn't, but it will not produce wrong numbers because I'm inserting the numbers myself. So that will hopefully go a bit better. And that's now my focus for right now and tomorrow and maybe in the meantime my brain, tired as it is, will think of something to do about the differences between the numbers. back outside with my laptop honestly vlogging is kind of hard like what the hell do people talk about also now i'm wondering if any of my neighbors are also sitting outside and listening to me talk about myself weird anyways yeah had dinner back outside now to enjoy the last sun rays and now I'm thinking if I should blog because I want to write a blog post about just training a very basic decision tree because I'm currently making content about decision trees. But I also kind of need to finish my work task for tomorrow, which is creating another database table and like connecting it with our like loading SQL statement that I designed. But I'm just very unmotivated right now. Maybe I should just stop thinking about it and do one of those two. Probably the work task first. And then I can reward myself by making a blog post. Is that, is that how that works? Reward myself with more work? Maybe. So good news is I finished my work task or as much of it as I could because I discovered I was missing some right to read from a different schema in the database, so this has to wait until tomorrow. But I finished all the logic, which is good. Bad news, <laughs> I procrastinated so much. I watched so much YouTube and just chilled on the couch and was like kind of working, but watched YouTube half of the time. So it took way longer than it should have, <laughs> and it's now super late. But yeah, end of day, I'm finally going to bed now. And I hope this gave you an idea of what a day as a data science consultant, especially working from home, can be like. I know that there are like people out there who are like curious what it's like. And yeah, this is a snapshot from my current project, which I am working on alone, as I said. And yeah, you can get like a general idea of like how much freedom I have in like designing my day schedule and yeah. You definitely don't have to work until late at night. <laughs> that was just because I took like a few breaks during lunch, etc. So I had hours left and I didn't work overtime or anything. I just divided my hours <laughs> in potentially a stupid way. So yeah, just want to make that clear. 
Okay, so like I said, I hope this gave you an idea or was sort of interesting. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.